Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. Today we're going to be taking a deep dive into a new artist that a ton of you have been recommending. This will be Peter Steele, the lead vocalist of Type O Negative. Now, I have heard Type O Negative just a little bit in a patron playlist, and I was struck by his really deep and resonant sound but I've never seen him uh, perform live in a music video, anything like that. I don't know what he looks like. So it's gonna be really fun to get into his sound and just really analyze it a bunch. And we're gonna be listening to Love You to Death, the music video version. Doing a little bit of research on typo negative, I was struck by a lot of what I would consider contrasting adjectives to describe the band, things like romantic and goth metal. And I don't know how these two go together, but apparently they do very successfully because you guys and a ton of other people totally rave about this band. I'm really excited to see how exactly though they make it work. So let's get to it. In her place, 100 candles burning Salty sweat drips from her breast. Her hips move, and I can feel what they're saying. Swaying, they say the beast inside of me is gonna get ya, get ya, get ya. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, before we get into much more, it sounds like we're, we had the whole band come in there, um, but I want to talk about his voice and the words and uh, how sexy all of that was. <laughs> He's using vocal fry and makes it feel very, um, very personal. It sounds almost like he speaks singing sometimes. He's really embracing that lower deep sound that he has. It doesn't sound like he's trying to be a different voice type. He's just using these amazing uh, low notes that are naturally his. I love hearing that little bit of fry in there though because it, it feels uh, it feels more like you're talking to a friend rather than delivering a performance. And add to that these lyrics where he's talking about the swaying of hips and this occasional extra breathiness that comes in there. It's like, whoa, this is this is steamy. So I'm gonna go back a little bit and listen to that again. It was delightful. In her place, one hundred candles burning. A salty sweat. Trips from her breast Her hips move And I can feel <laughs> what they're saying Swaying They say the beast inside of me Is gonna get ya, get ya, get ya There's one other, well two other quick things uh, he definitely has like the look of a vampire going on, right? Uh, I feel like he would be, he's got a moodiness to him. It reminds me of something of like Phil Compton, maybe from True Blood. <laughs> well, yeah, that one. Um, now you guys know that I, I like vampire uh, series sometimes. Oh dear. Um, so he has like that sort of dark broody thing, really pale skin, dark, long hair too. So yeah, he feels a little bit like a vampire to me. Uh, and then in addition, he has a tiny bit of an accent. I don't, I think he's from the East Coast somewhere. So I think that he might be actually adding that accent on top. I'm not entirely sure. Please tell me in live chat or in comments uh, where that accent comes from, because I don't know. Oh, I 
Okay, I definitely heard that accent on the R of praying, like he's rolling that R there. I loved hearing him go up a little higher in his register, but he's not trying to thin the voice too much. He's still really embracing that deeper, darker timbre that is, seems to be very natural in his instrument. Uh, the way he's using tons of slides in this, it makes it almost feel like he's luring somebody in, which I also am getting, I think, that impression from the music video where he feels like maybe he's the big bad wolf in Choose Red Riding Hood or something there. Um, and uh, there was another thing. Uh, I'm going back to the lyrics. There was a lyric that was really cool. Uh, oh, the it was the beast inside me is going to get ya, get ya, get ya. <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah, that vampire idea is definitely, definitely present. Uh, let's go back a little bit and see if we can catch that moment before the end. It seems like, I think that was in the last part. I should mention as well, I, I read that he also plays the bass and we've seen a few images of him playing bass too. Uh, just shout out to how awesome it is that he is multi-talented like that. Uh, very, very impressive. <laughs> Wow. Wow. This, I get that romantic goth metal thing. Of, of course it's vampirish. Of course. Why didn't I think of this before? Um, there's like this image of a finger across his mouth and I feel like I'm just wondering if he's going to bite the finger. Uh, the definitely in the lyrics he's saying, um, I beg to serve your wish is my law. Now close those eyes and let me love you to death and love you to death. Of course is the title as well. And that makes sense because, uh, whether or not you're going with vampire or werewolf hunting little red riding hood, um, sorry, just wolf hunting little red riding hood. I'm um, in both situations. It feels like, uh, something that is at one point violent, but at the same time, extremely sensual. Uh, yeah, I think that just even the coloration of the red brings up the idea of passion and of, uh, of violence at the same time. It's very interesting to hear these together and it's working. Also doing a lot of essentially cries off of the voice. Well, he'll, he'll break the voice at the end of a note. And this gives it a certain sound of desperation. And that was, again, I think on the words, the beast inside of me is going to get you yet. Or yeah. I think that was the words there. Let's check that out again. I'm too far. Sorry. Right there, at the very end of, yeah, he breaks the voice and that gives that feeling of desperation. Cool. I love the pitch bending in here. Um, and it mimics also some of what he was doing with the vocal where he was sliding a lot in the, in the melody as well. And in here, I think this is a guitar, maybe a synth that is doing a pitch bend. Um, at, for me, when I hear a really, uh, a slower pitch bend like this, it almost like it grates on my nerves just a teensy bit. 
because I feel like something's out of tune. But if it returns or goes to a point where it's back home on another pitch really quickly, I instead feel this rush of like, whoa, what did that what did that do to my nerves? Of it felt like they just kind of prickled at this sound. I want to go back and listen to it. <laughs> like right there. Oh. <laughs> his voice here it sounds um it sounds almost you know like a choir that's layering in there and he's just saying let me love you to death and it it's again I have this feeling of being lured in and I like the extra breathiness that he's adding on top that really uh contrasts some of the more what I would consider like more condensed sound that he often has in the bottom uh and the image of this doll being dug up is also quite striking uh and interesting because I feel like he's been saying, let me love you to death. And he's playing that vampire or wolf role. And the girl is innocent. But now I'm feeling like maybe she's not so innocent. She's got this doll. <laughs> Let's go back a little bit. Creepy. Whoa. Oh, those are some really interesting sounds in there. The way that they suddenly, they had that whole layered sound of his voice and then they cut it out really sharply and added like some distortion, right? That's like that moment of cutting the sounds away, then you have the piano in the background. I love the way that makes the ears perk up, like what's about to happen, and then you have an almost broken up sound that follows. <laughs> Pianos get smashed. Is that a piano? Oh, yeah, that wasn't fake. That was a real piano being pushed over and smashed. Oh, I hate that. Um, uh, <laughs> like anytime there's even a cartoon where a piano drops, I always have a little twinge. Like, no, but that was a beautiful instrument and took many hours to make. Anyhow, um, this image of her in a red dress, I think we just see this over and over of this red dress. And I want to go back to the idea of both passion and violence combined. And I think that those two things are the things that would be behind that description of romantic goth metal at the same time. It really works. It goes together. I can see why it would be very popular considering that pop culture of things like uh, Twilight and Buffy the Vampire Slayer and I'm come to think of it he even is like the um, the vampire that Brad Pitt plays in Interview with a Vampire I think you get that sense actually the whole band looks like a bunch of vampires yeah that that I think that this would be very popular among many many teenage and adult women <laughs> Shift 
here. So far, I felt like this felt more um, more fantastic in a lot of ways uh, with that element of, you know, unreality with fairy tales or whatnot. But right here, I felt like all of a sudden we have some extra deep meat to add to the song. And this might be because I was reading about his history a little bit. And I know that I think it was in 1989 that he attempted suicide and said that it was uh, because he fell in love with the wrong person. And we're hearing now this these words, am I good enough for you? And when he went up to that high note, it that sounded heart-wrenching to me. You got even a little bit of grit in there. So I wonder, I wonder, was he writing the words at this point? Where did this come from? How was this inspired? And did I miss something else earlier in the piece that had a sort of precursor to that added extra layer of depth? Let's go back a little. Oh. American Beauty there too. <laughs> oh man, I think people know that that glance of his eyes and the steaminess of the song topic, his appearance, everything going together, that even just a deep voice, right? The manliness that's in that sound. Uh, it makes sense to try and get like just a beautiful glance from him at the last moment to wrap up the song. But that being said, this song is definitely too short. Uh, I feel like I have been spoiled by metal and I want songs to be longer. So we're gonna go back a little bit and listen to that ending. This, uh, this visual really reminded me of American Beauty. That's his, his last singing moment here. The For You is one of the best examples that I have ever heard of vocal fry. It's really excellent use. He still is able to keep some great resonance in the sound, but he even uses that as a way to slide up, access a few more low notes on the bottom. Again, make that super personal, like you're talking to somebody that you've known for years or that you're very intimate with. Nice. I finally get it. Like getting into his voice and the lyrics and actually really uh, just digesting them, I feel like I suddenly understand the hype. He Before I thought, wow, deep resonant voice. Yeah, super cool. It was a nice voice. Now with all of the words and also the visuals that they're giving off here, I'm like, oh, wow. He's steamy. Of course, I bet there are so many women who say like their dream guy is Peter Steele. <laughs> I mean, he's like the epitome of a vampire boyfriend, right? Does that make sense? And overall, it was really, I was really struck by the way that we got that extra level of depth. At the beginning, I thought, okay, this is, this is a nice voice and it's got a good storyline, but then having Am I Good Enough For You re repeated at the end, uh, it just took it somewhere new and gave it that extra little boots that makes a song stick with you even more. I very much enjoyed this. Really, really enjoyed this. So please keep making recommendations. You know we listen because there are videos like this to prove it. And if you wanna make those recommendations, the best place to make them are in the comments down below our YouTube releases. So uh, speak up there, give us a link, say both an artist and a song, and we track that. So we're, we're watching it, just so you know. You can also come and say hello to me in live chat on 
Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays when we do premieres at 8 o'clock Arizona time. And I'm also on Patreon, The Charismatic Voice. We have a really cool community, and I'd love for you to be a part of it. Or you can find me at thecharismaticvoice.com and learn more about singing or music in general. Thanks. Thank you.